Hi, in this episode of my podcast, I would like to show you my work in projects, projects uh, some holiday atmosphere in Amsterdam, and also all the things I needed and crushed it this year. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> she just want to be here. It's not very comfortable. Maybe you know, like. Hi, my name is Kate and this is my knitting and crocheting podcast and in this video I would like to share with you my work in progress thing. Uh, I would like to show you some uh, holidays atmosphere in Amsterdam. We went on the, we went, uh, on the ice skating uh, last week. Uh, also there is light festival which is very beautiful this year and I would like to show it to you like maybe a little bit. And also I would like to share with you my work in projects projects and I would like to show you all the things I needed this year. Uh, I started to knit uh, basically this year. I of course uh, have tried to knit few things uh, now and then uh, since I was a child. My grandmother teach me how uh, knitting like when I was eight years old or something. Uh, but I I didn't do it so often. I I can't say it was my hobby, and only this year uh, I really started to. It, it's become my hobby. Knitting become the thing I really like. I really enjoy, and I don't know why. But when I started crocheting a few years ago, I started knitting. I tried to to knit also, but I didn't like it then. But yeah, this year I really found. Uh, it, it, it's become my new uh, hobby, my new favorite thing, and now I spend more time knitting than crocheting. Maybe it will change, who knows. Uh, I would like to summarize uh, everything i done this year, uh, because I wanted to make a video about my plan for the 2023, what I would like to knit, what I would like to crochet next year, and I it would be first time when I will plan accordingly, like what I will do. Normally I just do from project to project, like, oh, now I would like to do this, now this. But this year I um, realized I have a lot of ideas and I would like to make as much as I can. So I will uh, make a plan for, my, for me. But before this, I would like to summarize. I would like to see and appreciate and be honored of myself, uh, of all these things I did this year. So it's the reason why I would like to show you all the things I knitted. And it's also kind of my knitting journey. So if you are a beginner, you can see how, and if maybe you're just interested in how I started to knit and uh, maybe you're just thinking about this, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of, I, because I started, I may say this year, I'm, I can show you how it started, the first project I need, what I did first, what I did, uh, what I need as is my second pr project, my things, how I learned, and I think it could be helpful some, for somebody. So, yeah, and another thing, I, to be honest, don't have enough uh, finished project to make a podcast, and I didn't want to share to make a five minutes video because I don't know, I prefer myself uh, 20 minutes videos minimum. Uh, so it's also, it's another reason why I decided to show you all these things. Hope you will enjoy it. Let's start. First thing I would like to show you this. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I will start with my work in progress things. I don't have a lot, but yeah, quickly I would like to show you what I'm working on. So. <laughs> This, this is so... <laughs> I don't know, I think it's so funny. Uh, I uh, didn't block it yet, it's the reason why it looks so strange. <laughs> I don't know, it makes me laugh, so I, I think it would be fun to, first to show you and then I will block it. And in the next episode I will probably show you... I, I'm not sure I will need the second one, but I, will, I at least will block this one. Uh, yeah, I used a pattern from... Uh, a good of a Kika book. I showed it, this book uh, to you last uh, in my last video, but I will link it uh, in the description. Yeah, so it's basically ribbing from the beginning, 
from the start till the end and I don't know why but this sock was moving so slow it was so, so slow to knit and <laughs> I was so tired of ribbon in the middle of a sock so I was like okay I will start this product I will start this product I finished only because I have only one needle uh, size uh, 2.25 and I use them to knit my socks and I really I have another yarn which I really wanted to use so it was my only motivation to finish this sock I I'm not sure I will cast on the second one in the near future I like how it looks but this ribbing oh my god <laughs> it was it was it was tricky okay this yarn was my motivation to finish the previous red sock and uh, because I needed needles uh, I have only one of this size and I have one is ready one sock is ready and I also didn't block it yet I like this color so much it's a Lana Grossa sock yarn uh, and uh, it's Christmas collection and I like these colors I, I love colors like all, all of them, I, I love bright colors, so it's really something that make me joy. I enjoy this process so much. Uh, it's so nice to see how colors change and I like the result. And it's really have Christmas uh, mood for me. I don't know, so I'm so happy with this yarn and it, yarn also like uh, the feeling of this yarn I also like, so I think I will buy more of this, maybe not Christmas uh, theme already, maybe Christmas theme, why not, for next year, but yeah, anyway, I will buy more of this yarn, I really like it, so second sock in progress, I already made a heel, it's super easy sock, uh, top to bottom, I don't know how you call this heel it's uh yeah i will tell about this uh, how i need them later uh, nothing difficult here yeah and my uh, my uh, my third and the last uh process it's this uh so it's so official <laughs> yeah this it's it's already pretty long I think it will become uh, a gift for one of my friends. Uh, and probably you remember I showed you the Lana Grossa yarn I bought in uh, Cologne, Cologne, and uh, it wasn't the, there was not enough yarn to make a hat, and I also didn't like how its uh, ribbon looked. Looked so I decided to use it for uh, Sophie shawl uh, and. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm doing small version and I think it's very good present. So I, I hope I will manage to finish it. I will see my, I saw my friend not on the Christmas, but a bit later. So I hope I will manage to finish it before that, uh, before our meeting. I think she will like it. And uh, I really like the color. I spent like one or two days thinking like, hmm, maybe it should be my shawl. <laughs> I should. I will use it myself <laughs> yeah but then I decided like no okay I can make one for myself a bit later and now I will make something nice for my friend and uh, it's very easy to do it's uh, like you I won't say you don't need to think about it while you're knitting because you sh you need to think about it you need to count ro the rows but still it's pretty uh, easy to knit it's uh, something that you can take with you uh, on the road on a, when you're traveling it's not super big and i also like what um, you can i had for example i had 100 uh, grams of yarn so what i did i was knitting and i was a few time i measured the leftovers and then here was like 50 something grams I was like, yeah, okay, it's time to make decreases now. So uh, this way I'm sure I will use all the yarn I have and I won't have any leftovers. I really like this uh, about this shawl. I probably, it's not only about this specific one, but about all the shawls you make this way, but it's my first one. So, <laughs> so yeah, I uh, really like it. 
I like this yarn, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, if you uh, if you would like to make a hat, you need to pair it with something. I I'm not sure. I'm not. I I'm telling now you this like I'm professional. I'm not professional. I, it's just my guess. <laughs> I would uh, I would if if I will buy it second time, I probably will buy it with some hair or something. Uh, to knit together because uh, alone it's yeah mm, it's not for hard definitely I, and I don't know maybe for sweater but then you will need to use very small needles and it's I don't have enough patience for this so yeah but the shawl I like and it's nice uh, it feels nice on the skin it's not itchy so um, so yeah we'll show you when I will finish it let's go to a part where i tell you about my knitting journey uh, so as i told you i started uh, crocheting when i moved to amsterdam six years ago i had a lot of free times time and i was like oh i remember my childhood hobby and i was like yeah i tried it really liked it and at the same time I also bought needles and I have tried to knitting but I didn't like it really I don't remember exactly why there was no particular reason it's just I didn't like it and that's it so I forget about this for six years and this year uh, uh, I uh, made uh, when the year started, I crocheted two things. I crocheted uh, green socks. Uh, it's very nice socks. Uh, it was, I think, uh, second or third time I uh, crocheted socks, and I was like, okay, uh, it's too difficult because then you do it, you need to think about all the increases and decreases. You can't relax. You always need to remember on which row are you and uh, where. <laughs> What what you should do next? What should be on the next row? So for me, it's not a relaxing process. It's a bit more the process where I also need to check the pattern. So uh, and I thought, oh, maybe it would be interesting for me to try and knit socks. And uh, this, uh, I think I thought about it, and then I was like, yeah, no, maybe later. Uh, then I was working on some toys. I made a tie hair for my uh, son. I already showed you this a uh, couple of times. Yeah, you see it now. It's a very beautiful toy from a book I shared with you in my last video. I'm sorry, my animals really decided to destroy the house. But yeah, and then, uh, then, uh, then it was February and the war started. If you don't know, I don't know. But if you don't know, the Russia started war against Ukraine. Uh, I'm I'm Russian, but I have family in both countries, and I even don't know if I wouldn't have a family. If I wouldn't have family in Ukraine, it's still a tragedy. I still can't imagine how I will stay indifferent to this. So. Yeah, anyway, it's not about uh, this bar, it's just about I was down for like a really long time for, and uh, I was depressed and I started medicine and blah blah blah, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, but at some point I, um, I remember I was thinking like, hmm. Uh, I, I I can't describe, I d explain now how it started, but I was like, hmm, I, well, maybe I should knit the socks. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know how to knit, <laughs> I don't remember it. I I uh, made few, I knitted like few things, like a small scarf maybe a few years ago or something. Like I, I really didn't know how to do it, but I was like, yeah, I, I have to knit the socks. <laughs> Now it's like well, that's what I need, and yeah, I just uh, went. I had the needles which I bought six years ago when I first uh, thought like, okay, I will try crocheting, I will try knitting, and we'll see what I will like more. So I have uh, I, I had needles uh, size three. I went to mute. I have some yarn because I was 
crochet for uh, maybe for six years. So I had yarn on my stash, so I just picked up yarn and picked up these needles, went on YouTube, found a video. I really was like searching, googling like how to knit socks video on YouTube. <laughs> found some uh, found a tutorial it was a very nice one very well explained unfortunately I don't have a link anymore but yeah it was a very nice one and here I have uh, socks <laughs> they look now super strange but yeah I have them now and uh, the reason why they look like this they die <laughs> they uh, accidentally were washed by washing machine and I think that's the end for them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, they're here and I love I love them so much. They made with alpaca, they're alpaca in this yard, so they were very warm and very, very nice. I like them a lot, but yeah, unfortunately, they now become super small. I, uh, I don't think it would be possible for me to use them. If some of you know how to if I can do something with these socks, so it's, they will become a bit bigger again, let me know in the comments. I really, really will appreciate your help. I didn't finish this video yesterday. Uh, there are a lot of reasons why, but the main one, I didn't have enough space on my phone, unfortunately, and I didn't have time to uh, deal with it so i do it today and uh, tomorrow is christmas so happy holidays uh, for everybody who celebrates i hope you will have warm long weekends and you will uh, meet your loved ones your family maybe um, yeah happy holidays and i would like to continue yesterday i told you i, I started to talk about my knitting journey and I told you about the first thing I needed, it was my socks. Uh, so I would like to continue from there. Uh, the second thing I uh, needed this year, it was Swiss mittens. Here they are. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple one. I, again, I didn't buy any patterns, anything like that, nothing fancy. I just um i just google like how to knit mittens <laughs> found this video on youtube and for the tutorial unfortunately again i don't have uh, the link uh it lost in my history um yeah but it's very simple one uh, i need them from button to top first i made this part uh i have ribbon here uh need to purl two and the same one here i made increases here for a finger and then when when this part was done i was working on this uh, finger so it's easy to knit i would say it's uh, even easier than socks if you are looking for a project for a beginner and you would like to make mittens yeah it's nice a nice one to start with I um, can recommend it and it looks very nice it's like it's the second project I made but it's it looks the way I can wear it so I really happy with it and this uh, what I wanted to say I think is very important and I uh, think I was lucky and I didn't make this mistake when I was uh, learning uh, how to crochet I didn't start with huge long simple but huge projects like scarves it's it's simple because yeah they're normally like very easy to follow pattern and you just knit it for i don't know for two meters or something but it's huge it's so long you will spend a lot of time on it so if you're a beginner i'm not sure it's a good project to start this because in the beginning you i don't know maybe it's only me let me know in the comments can you uh, rely on that or it's it's something me uh, for me it's important when I start to learn something it's important to make small steps and see the results as soon as possible and then you start with small projects like meetings maybe hats or even socks you see the result 
very quickly and you can start wear it so you have motivation to continue learning and then you if i if i would need a scarf as a first project i'm pretty sure i will lose my motivation because at some point i would be like oh my god it takes so much time and it's still not done and maybe i'm not so good and all these thoughts and i will probably leave it and will forget about it but when i start with small projects step by step i can enjoy <laughs> and be proud of myself enjoy the results and it's give me motivation to continue so this is my advice if you're a, a beginner i yeah maybe better to start with something small the next thing i made was this bandana by pearl soho and yeah i don't want to tell you a lot about this one because i told you about this part a lot in my previous uh, episodes the important thing to say here is uh, it's the first thing I need in this pattern uh, and I choose the free pattern because I wasn't sure yet if I would be able to need something but pattern was easy to follow and they have uh, links for the whole technique you whole technique, technique you need to know so every time when I, when I didn't know how to do something I had some help it's very nice I made a lot of mistakes here, but especially you can see, like, you see this part of bandana and this part of bandana are different. It's because you start to need this um, from here. You go, uh, you need uh, uh, like back and front this part, and then you go in rounds. So when I went in rounds, I, it's it's fine, but this part i made this mistake because when i was pulling i was doing in the, in the wrong way so uh, these stitches here they are crossed and um yeah it doesn't bother me i don't care <laughs> i even did notice first like i mean i noticed the difference between fabric here and here but i was like yeah okay i maybe it's because uh, here i was doing it in rounds and here is not but yeah no it's uh it's not it's not the case <laughs> it's because i made a mistake but i still use it and uh yeah and of course decreases doesn't look so beautiful here because it was my first time so yeah but it's still something like i wear it doesn't like with this mistakes doesn't bother me i don't think somebody will notice it when i wear it and i yeah i enjoy it I like it and um, even when I did it even my husband was like yeah I also would like to have one and yeah I made a lot of them <laughs> you probably you saw them and uh, if you yeah if you are uh, new here you can go to my previous episodes and I made already two or three of them uh, okay so after that after bandana I decided to need a top <laughs> Yeah, there is a logic behind it. It's <laughs> probably sounds crazy because it was like November or something, but we were going on vacation and I really wanted to need something bigger than hat or I don't know, socks. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'm ready to need something like sweater, but not sweater because I was super afraid of uh, the amount of knitting you need to do to knit a sweater. And the, I was afraid of this part of uh, i was afraid to, uh, of uh, neckline uh yeah so i decided i will need a, a top because it's smaller <laughs> and i was going on vacation so i uh, had an uh, opportunity to wear it uh and i had like three weeks uh, for this and i made a, uh, the whole video about uh the process how i started uh, the, the yarn i started this how i realized uh, it's uh, i need to use another yarn i change it i made a mistake i found found this mistake like the whole story there i will uh, leave a link for this video below but yeah it's again i followed my uh, logic that i was talking about i was doing something small something that i was sure i will be able to finish and don't lose my motivation before i will finish it 
Then we came from vacation, I was proud of myself and step by step I become more confident I can knit something big. So I decided to knit a sweater. And this uh, sweater, you saw uh, it yesterday, I wore it, uh, like I mean for you it was a few <laughs> minutes before, but I wore it yesterday for uh, filming this video. I also was talking about this sweater in my previous episode, uh, episodes uh, of uh, my, my podcast. Yeah, I wear it, I'm proud with, uh, with this sweater, I'm happy with it and it was super easy to follow. So if you are a beginner and you would like to knit a sweater but you are afraid to, you can do it. I did it, so you can do it too. Yeah, and then I continue with uh, socks. I made a lot of socks. <laughs> I, I uh, yeah, a lot of socks. I made like four or five. <laughs> It's not a lot. For me, it's a lot. Yeah, and uh, I I like to knit socks, and I noticed on the, the knitting community there are people who like to knit socks and people who hate it, and I on the side with people who like it. So I think I will continue, and I will have the big project for next year. It's about the socks. I will tell you about this in my next video. Um, yeah, and now I feel more confident, so I'm ready to knit something sweater, but more difficult one. I already have some patterns which I would like to try. And uh, yeah, that's uh, how I came where I am now. And I'm pretty sure everybody can do it. So yeah, if you watch this and you, uh, uh, you would like to start knitting, I'm recommend you to try you can do it i'm pretty sure and if you are not and you are already i don't know um advanced knitter uh yeah <laughs> i'm happy you are here let me uh and i would be happy if you will leave some uh maybe advices uh, under in the comments under this video because yeah i'm learning so i would like to know more and to learn more things and i will be happy if somebody will uh, help me with it I think that's it what I wanted to say for today. So again, happy holidays, enjoy your weekend and um, I wish you all the best uh, in the next year. I'm not sure I will post another video this year. So I wish you yeah, all the best and Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Bye.